Hey guys, and welcome back to the Tacoma Tuesday series. Today we'll be going over the truck camping setup I created for my double cab long bed Tacoma. We will be adding some extra weight, so I opted for a 3 1 lift level that also gives me more room for bigger tire package. Sometimes I just want to get away, unplug, and not be found. So I got the truck of my dreams. I wanted something that could take me to remote places to see and have the ability to camp off grid whenever and wherever I would like to. Starting with the outside of the truck, I have upgraded suspension, rims, and tires from stock. I chose the ARE Overland cap, not raised to keep a clean look for boondocking under the radar. The Rhino liner is installed in the areas that are most at risk for wear and tear on the road. All three windows fold up for easy access to the bed. They have sliding vents, which will play a huge role later in the build. In addition, I have two LED light strips that can be used by the switch or the actuator located on the shark arm of the rear hatch. Knowing we'll be camping in the bed, I installed a bed rug that acts as an insulation barrier during cold weather. It is three quarters of an inch thick. It is attached by small Velcro strips. Very easy to clean and vacuum out. For storage, I choose plastic bins that came in a variety of sizes for my gear. Each bin has its purpose and assist in organization on the road. Hey Steve. Yeah? So I'm, I'm thinking of, I gotta figure out how to fit this mattress into my truck and I gotta cut it, grab that. So I gotta figure out how to, I gotta figure out how to cut this and fit in the back of my truck and it's too big and I got this butter knife, but I don't think it's gonna work so hot. Um, so I looked up on the internet and they showed where you can use a bread knife and cut through it better. You got any ideas? I mean, yeah, 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 I got it. All right. What, what's your idea? No, what the? What is that? We are headed to my local Walmart to find some fabric that's going to last under tough conditions and easily washable. Steve knocked it out for us, and what I've done is I've taken the length of my bed, divided it by three, got three equal pieces individually to go ahead and split them up so they're more stackable inside the back of the truck to rearrange them and stuff. My next problem is though, I got all this, this uh, material uh, to cover them, but I don't know how to sew. I'm gonna see if Steve can help me with that too. Hey Steve, you help me out with something? We got the bed cut up, but now I got all this fabric from Walmart and I don't know how to sew. I don't know how we can make covers. Do you have any ideas? Do you have that, that box, that propane helmet still? Yeah. How, how is this going to help? Oh, I got this. All right. I don't know how it's going to work, man. <laughs> got it. All right. You think it worked? I don't know, I think so. I don't, I don't think it worked, man. Dude, I got this. Look at that. Ready to roll. How, what? How did that work? Oh well, whatever, let's put them on. The bed is in three pieces, which makes it module and easy to move. I also carry a pop-up canopy so I can always have a dry area outside of the truck when I am camping. Laying down a tarp can be a huge difference in the dirt you track into the truck. Okay. 
I use a five degree, two person sleeping bag and two king size pillows for sleeping. Two of my top recommended items would be a small rechargeable fan and an extra power source for charging larger things such as a laptop. I have a Goal Zero 400. I installed a three-way outlet and a cap for small power needs. You will need a lighter from time to time while adventuring, so I installed Velcro on one. Last upgrade is one of the more important upgrades, the window coverings. Using a double layer of Flectix glued together with a jersey type material on the outside created a heat barrier and also blocks out anybody trying to peek inside. This truck allows me to work from the road, boondock, camp, and go on any adventure I want. Make sure to subscribe to help the channel grow. Pedal a little harder, don't touch the brakes, and we will see you on an adventure soon.